So I was a passenger on a motorcycle and we were going 135 miles per hour and I flew 75 feet behind the motorcycle, which led me to have road rash on 85% of my body. And we see a lot of different types of burns here, and that was one of the most severe road rashes um, with associated blood loss. It is a process where you have an abrasion that tears off your skin. So she was very sick. So when they told me I was in the burn unit, that was kind of like a rude awakening. And then also like not being able to move, not being able to feed myself, walk, use the bathroom on my own, was a very humbling experience for me. So we did a lot of wound care, and that was really difficult for me. Wound care, when you have burns, is extremely painful. She is one of the only patients I've ever had who was intubated fully awake to still participate in her wound care. She wanted to be aware of her surroundings. She wanted that reassurance. So really having them work together to create a schedule for me and a routine made it easy for my care because every day going in I knew this was gonna happen at this time and this was gonna happen at this time. We have all sorts of training on what, how to take care of your wounds, pain control, anxiety management, and eventually scar management. We're gonna pull in our nutrition experts and our therapists and our mental health experts. Everyone is a part of your care here. We have a really great interdisciplinary team that works from the beginning to make sure that we're providing the most holistic care. She was very highly motivated. She had this internal drive that really got her through everything. She had a lot of support structure. Uh, she had people who cared for her, but she drove the ship. <laughs> I'm not surprised at how well she's doing, and I wouldn't have thought that she'd want to go to nursing school. You never know what somebody's going to take from their, their medical experience, from their hospital stay. I was thinking about my kids and how much I wanted them to be amazing and have amazing careers, and I was like, what? I can't expect that out of them if I don't do it myself. So I was like, I'm gonna do something amazing. And I was like, what better way to do than nursing? And I'm so glad that she healed to the point where she was able to go to school. It doesn't take much to learn that she's an amazing person. She has a lot of inner strength. It is, it just makes me proud to see where she is now. Katie actually penned me since she was such an inspiration and in, in me going into nursing school. And let me tell you, there were a lot of tears. Providing her care and then giving her that nursing pen, I'll never forget it. It was a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Had I not met them and been so influenced by the care, I probably wouldn't have gotten the degree that I did. She's part of our burn family. Uh, and, and this is what I love about burn care because it's not just taking care of somebody and then going home. You're a part of this family. You're a survivor. Uh, it's, a, it's a team effort. Becoming a nurse myself, it, it seems surreal now. <laughs> At the Evan Haynes Burn Center, VCU, Dr. Feldman, had I not had them, I would have never just walked across the graduation stage, had my beautiful children. I wouldn't be here without them. <laughs>